Utilizing the Dream 15 and the Dream Motion software, comparing both standard and pro, we'll discuss the Panto stacker layout and settings in this video. Enter the pantograph portion of the program and select your pattern from the continuous line patterns. Here, I'm going to choose the curl wave. With the easy selected, the numbers that are in the total height and width are the safe area you've already selected. This is not the full area of your quilt, but do keep these numbers in mind. Tap on the total width and fill in the total width of your entire quilt plus two inches for margin. So my quilt was 63 inches wide plus two inches for 65. Repeat for the height. So the height of my quilt is actually 60, 73 inches wide. We're gonna give it 75. You'll now decide how tall you want your patterns to be and insert that height, keeping in mind the maximum height from your safe area. My safe area was just over 11 inches, but I know that the green stripe on my quilt is only eight and a half, so that's where I'm gonna top out. I also don't want my pattern to be 65 inches wide, so I'm gonna reduce it down to about nine inches. There you go, it's multiplied. You can stay with these numbers, and you can play with them until you like what you see. There's no math required and the program calculates it all for you. Want to stagger the design or flip it? Simply select the even or odd rows and then select either flip left or flip down. And you can play with it, have some fun with it. Keep pushing the buttons and honestly, if you cycle through it, after about four pushes, it will return back to where you started. So let's see, we're gonna play with the stagger. I like that. I'm gonna flip one of them. I like that. Now, there are also nesting, stretch, and center buttons to play with. Those are over here. I wanna stretch it a little bit to get rid of the margins, and I'm going to lock my aspect ratio, keeping it at the max size, just to make sure I don't shift anything I don't want to. At this point, it's time to select Quilt as Rows, and while it's going to the next screen, it's gonna ask you, do you want to save it? Of course you want to save it. There's nothing worse than losing your work. So we're gonna click yes, and we're gonna name it, swirls, enter, save. Now, anytime you wanna come back, it's ready to use for your quilt. In the Dream Motion standard software, you'll be able to quilt up to two rows. While the Dream Motion Pro software, you will be able to quilt your entire quilt, but both softwares you'll be using the zone to zone feature. For more information on the zone to zone feature, come on back for our next video. But in the meantime, don't forget to tag us at Brother Sews so we can see what you've been up to. Thanks so much.